question 14. God, this is a long question. Right, um, none of it too hard, but there's just a lot of it. So on the same graph, draw, draw this cubic graph and that line graph. Well, there's the cubic one. For the line, just think of a couple of points and you get it looking like this. They only cross once, so that's why we only have one one root because they intersect once. Now for part two, show by differentiation there are no stationary points. So if we differentiate we get 3x squared plus 3. This factorizes to 3 lots of x squared plus 1. Now for a stationary point the gradient's got to be 0 so it would need to be possible for this to equal 0. Well it can't be. If you square any number uh, the, the smallest it can be is 0 so once you start adding 3 to it, it must be greater than zero, a 0, hence why there are no stationary points. Uh, part B, explain, hence explain why the equation has only one root. Well, the point is, is that um, your curve has always got a positive gradient, so it's always increasing. It's always increasing, so it can only ever cross the x-axis once, hence why only one root. Now, part C, use the factor theorem to find an integer. So in a way, we're just trialing an error here. So um, I think quite quickly you can see that if you choose uh, 2, 2 cubed is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 take away 10 is 0. So f of 2 is 0, therefore 2 is an integer root. Now this then throws up a factor for us. As 2 is a root, x minus 2 is a factor. So we can now do the algebraic long division and divide uh, our, our um, what we need to divide this by uh, x minus 2. Now just be careful, remember when you go and set it up to be um, under the bus shelter for the long division, you need to have decreasing powers of x. So remember to include 0x squared. That then makes it very fairly straightforward and we can see that once we divide by x minus 2, we get x squared plus 2x plus 5. So given that this divided by this is this, this times this equals this, and that equals 0. So this times this equals 0. Now for part 3, uh, by considering uh, this bit, so this bit, uh, uh, what does it say? Uh, show uh, show that the quadratic has only one root. Now the point is, with this bracket here, there are no real roots. If we work out the discriminant of this, the b squared minus 4ac, it is less than naught. So no real solutions come out of this. So it is impossible to make this naught. So the only way we can make a total of naught is for this first term to be... Um, this first bracket to be 0, which obviously we know is when x is 2. So that's why we only have one real solution, because we can get no real solutions out of this second bracket. And then part D to finish, uh, you're given that R and S are positive, solution, uh, positive numbers. What does all the stuff above suggest to you about this? Well, the equation will only have one real root for all R and S values.